Greetings to everyone. I am Mamita Singh, student of 2D, Dhanbad Public School. Our country, India, is incredible. India is the cradle of the human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history and tradition. We live in India, the most populous democracy, which has been known as the golden bird due to its rich culture and tradition, rich heritage and breathtaking art and architecture. India is called the epitome of the world. Everything that one sees in the outside world can be seen in our great country. From the tall mountains to the raging and calm rivers, from the valleys to the plains, from the deserts to the jungles, from snowfall to extreme heat, India has everything to offer. Its lush, fertile soil makes it heaven for farmers and ecologists. India is the country with over 100 spoken dialects and languages, various cultural forms and religious practices. Every road and street, nook and cranny we see, there is an essence which can't be missed. Diversification is the identity of the country. Indian dance, which includes classical and folk dance form, present the most revered identities of our culture. The dances of India, like Bharatnatyam, Kuchipudi, have an underlying unity which binds the people of the country together. The music of India is one of the oldest unspoken musical tradition in the world. Indian food is widely popular and includes a lot of variety. Each state of India has its own unique cuisine that reflects the culture and the heritage of India. Indian food is a combination of all six tastes Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, spicy and astringent. A festival is an occasion of enjoyment and celebration in India. Being multilingual and multiracial, Indians celebrate a number of festivals all through the year. To save the country from the external invasion, and from internal disturbances, we have a great defense system. When the will defies fear, when duty throws the gauntlet down to fate, when honor scorns to compromise with death, that is heroism. And the other name of heroism is Indian Army, which controls the highest battlefield of the world, the Siachen Glacier. India without the soldiers would be like goddess without the angels. Thank you.